Hey y'all, welcome to The Farming Pastor's Wife. I am so glad you're with me today. Today we have a fun, exciting, just fun for kids treat. So stay tuned, you don't wanna go anywhere. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, click that little bell, and be sure to select all. That way you get a notification anytime I upload a video. So stay tuned, we're doing fun stuff today. Okay guys, so if you remember, not long ago, I went to the U.S. Foods warehouse and was able to taste a lot of desserts. And they were geared towards my friend's um, specific restaurants. Well, they did one that was kind of like a to share as a family or and it's very much geared towards kids so this week has been the first week of school actually today has been the first week of school but now judah and levi are in daycare so it's really not their first full day but i wanted to do something fun for them tonight sorry if you hear the tv on they're watching roly poly Oli. <laughs> so um, I want to do something fun for them tonight. So today we're doing just like a fun, crazy ice cream bonanza today. So stay tuned. I'm going to show you the things I'm going to get out and have ready for them. Let me show you a picture of the dessert that kind of inspired tonight's ice cream bonanza. Okay guys, so some of the crazy wild things we have for them is I've got the ice cream nuts here um, to go on it. We've got some of the wa cream wafer cookies. I've got some of these Oreo sticks. I'm going to break up a Pop-Tart. I have sour dinos. We're going to have Fruit Loops he can put on it. Let's see what else. We've got M&Ms over here. We've got sprinkles. I'm going to do bananas. I've got some, actually some potato chips we can put on it. Chocolate syrup, whipped cream, and of course, the maraschino cherries. So, I'm going to just break this Pop-Tart up. And we're just going to have, after we have our supper, which is going to be pizza. It's pizza night. After we have pizza, we're just going to have an ice cream bonanza in here. And it's going to be so much fun. And look who's getting into the food. <laughs> Poor Judah. Okay, well, I will bring you back when um, it's time to eat. I'll show you the pizza. Let me show you the pizza we found that we absolutely adore. And it's, it's store-bought. It's not like... I mean, it's like box pizza, and it is so good. It's this Motor City uh, company, and the only one I've tried is the pepperoni, and they have a cheese stick or breadstick with cheese on it, and it's amazing. So this and the breadsticks are amazing. So I've got two of these and a breadstick. We're going to put those in, and Bryant, I think, is wanting to eat healthy, so we may get him something different. So... Anyway, we're getting ready for our ice cream bonanza. I've got chocolate, vanilla, and strawberry, and we'll probably do a scoop of each in each um, bowl. And so we're gonna have we're gonna throw down some ice cream in here. Okay, y'all. Here is our spread. We've got vanilla, chocolate, and strawberry, all from Walmart. We've got potato chips, bananas, cherries, Fruit Loops, sprinkles. Judah and Levi are running and fussing. Um, sour dinos, M and M's, nuts, and all kinds of cookie goodies right here. And this is a pop tart that I've just broke up into pieces. Judah just stepped on my toe. All right, we're gonna get the ice cream out, and I'll let you watch Judah Bug go to town. What you want to go on it? You want bananas on it? You want potato chips, Fruit Loops, M and M's. What? what you want on it? Chocolate on it. Okay, but what do you want on top of it? You want some sprinkles? Oh, Look. there's whipped cream and chocolate syrup, Jamie. Sprinkles. 
Green, colorful. Green go. You want some fruit loops? Yeah, fruit loops. Put a little bit of everything on mine. Some M&Ms. Oh, like no, don't eat them by. He likes the M&Ms by itself. You want some sour dinosaurs? Mm-hmm. I use my fingers. All right, you want some peanuts? Yeah. Or some cookie? Do you want a cookie? You want a cookie? Which cookie do you want in there? Um, I put, I've put. i already got you a Pop-Tart in there. So you want an Oreo? Please. Let's try that one. Okay. We need whipped some cream. whipped cream for sure. Mmm. Mm -hmm. You want a cherry? Do you want some chocolate syrup? Yeah. You want any bananas? Yeah. Yeah. Bananas! Bananas! All right. Oh, you put, the, put that back in your ice cream. All right. You, you ready to eat it? All right, go. Have I got a chew spoon? No, nope, spoon. Here it is. Here you go. Dig in, buddy. Get a little bit of everything. Eat your ice cream. You made it. Look, you made that. Isn't that pretty? It's a better. Hey, guys. Well, last night's ice cream bonanza bar thing we did with the kids was so much fun i know it was a very quick video i am actually got a i've got a pound cake um in the mixer right now uh getting ready to go in the oven but uh, as soon as it goes in the oven i'm gonna run get ready and then i'm gonna come back and i just wanted to share some encouragement with you um uh, from the scripture and to give you a little talk but i think in today's time we all need some encouraging and some cheer so um that's kind of what this whole video was about something fun something um childlike and um so i'll be right back since i get the pound cake in the oven and get ready i'll come back and i'm just going to share some words of wisdom and some scripture with you guys okay y'all so i wanted to take just a minute and just give you some encouragement. Today, in today's time, everybody's turning against everybody. If somebody's feelings about a certain subject are one way and they're different from the other, they get mad at each other. And you've got family members turning against family members. You've got church members turning against church members. There's so many things. It could be politics. It could be anything. There's so many things that can cause us to have disagreements, but no longer are we long suffering with one another. And so therefore people sometimes, if, if their loved ones, if their family, if their church, if their friends don't feel the same way they do about a subject, their friends just toss them to the side or you're just easily put away nowadays if you don't agree. And I mean, people can't be kind anymore and say, okay, well, you have a different opinion and that's okay. And, but I, I don't want to focus on the difference of opinions because we know we should be long suffering. We know how we're supposed to treat other people. We know that, but it leaves a lot of people feeling lonely, abandoned, um, a pariah of sorts, an outcast. If you have a different opinion than everybody else on it, whatever matter it may be, whether it be politics, whether it be, it doesn't matter. It can be any situation, but I just want to give you some encouragement that you are very much loved and that you are being thought about. You're not alone. You are not, um, pushed to the side. Um, you might be by people of this world, but I wanted to read you my very favorite Psalms. I'm reading from the Living Translation, and uh, I just think it is so beautifully uh, translated here. And um, 
I just want to read it to you. That's all I want to do is just want to read this chapter to you. It says, Oh Lord, you have examined my heart and know everything about me. You know, you can say things and people think they know your motives or they can even think you, I mean, people assume so much and it destroys relationships. But you know who knows your every thought, who knows the inmost, he knows your motives. It says, Lord, you've examined my heart and you know everything about me. You know when I sit or when I stand. When I'm far away, you know my every thought. You chart the path ahead of me. Woo, that makes me want to shout. And tell me where to stop and where to rest. Every moment you know where I am. You know what I am going to say before I even say it. You both precede me, you go before me, and you follow me. And you place your hand of blessing on my head. This is too glorious and too wonderful to believe. Oh, amen to that. I can never be lost to your spirit. I can never get away from my God. If I go up to heaven, you are there. If I go to the place of the dead, you are there. If I ride the morning winds to the farthest oceans, even there your hand will guide me. Your strength will support me. If I try to hide in the darkness, the night becomes light around me. For even darkness cannot hide from God. To you, the night shines as bright as the day, and darkness and light are both alike to you. You made all the delicate inner parts of my body. You knit them together in my mother's womb. Thank you for making me so wonderfully complex. It's amazing to think about your workmanship and marvelous and how well I know it. You were there while I was being formed in utter seclusion. You saw me before I was born and scheduled each day of my life. Every single day of our lives have been scheduled. Um, before I even began to breathe, every day was recorded in your book. How precious it is, Lord. Listen to this. This is what gets me. How precious it is, Lord, to realize you are thinking about me constantly. He never stops thinking about you. I can't even count how many times a day, a day your thoughts turn towards me. And when I wake in the morning, you are still thinking about me. Surely you will slay the wicked, Lord. Away, bloodthirsty men, be gone. They blaspheme your name and stand in arrogance against you. How silly can they be? Oh, Lord, shouldn't I hate those who hate you? Shouldn't I grieve? with them yes i hate them for your enemies are my enemies too search me O god and know my heart test my thoughts point out anything you find in me that makes you sad and lead me along the path of everlasting life he is thinking about us he loves us so much but when you're dealing with controversial subjects that last scripture right there search me O god and know my heart test my thoughts Point out anything in me that makes you sad and lead me along the path of everlasting life. And if it is a sinful situation or whatever, and you pray this prayer with all of your heart, search my heart and point out anything in me that makes you sad, he will joyfully do that because he knows the motives of your heart. So I just wanted you to take courage that even... If you have a difference of opinion in this crazy, chaotic world we're living in, I mean, you've got Republican, Democrat, vaccine, non-vaccine. You've got um, holistic medicine, traditional medicine. You've got, there is, I mean, there are controversial subjects on everything. And you know what? But God loves you. Even if those that you can disagree with, which I think, I mean, unless it's sin, you have the right to your opinion. And, um, but God loves you. And if you ask him to search your heart and, and to make you aware and to guide you and direct you, he is faithful to do that. So I just wanted to give you encouragement that if people have turned against you in this crazy time that we're living in, God is still for you. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the ice cream and 
We will see you guys on the next one. Remember, if the grease is hot enough, you can fry anything. Bye, y'all.